everybody, it is LE Diecast, and this should be a pretty quick video. These cars have been waiting for their chance to be seen, and I don't think any others are going to be coming in anytime soon. Uh, these are wacky winners. I Well, you know what? Not all of them are. I take that back. But these are all Johnny Lightnings from about the same era. Most of these are wacky winners. <laughs> it's pretty wacky. Uh, these cars show up at conventions quite a bit. They used to go for quite a bit more than they do now. I've seen the price dropping on these quite uh, to reasonable prices. Usually you can find them for around three for five dollars, two dollars each, something like that. That's usually when I buy them. Uh, they came in a lot of different colors. The models weren't, there wasn't a lot of variety in the models, but they did come in a lot of colors, so they're a fun one to collect. Kind of towards the end of the Johnny Lightning run, the quality on these is pretty suspect. If you're going to give them to your kid to play with, they are going to fall apart. I'm just going to tell you that. And they are not very fast. The old Johnny Lightning certainly were much, much better, but I can't afford those. So <laughs> I'm stuck with these. Let's take a look at these. We're going to open them up. We'll just take a look at them in no particular order. There's about nine of these. I've got a lot more and we've done videos on them before. So if you like these, go back and take a look. Uh, we've got Collector Breakthrough Limited Edition on base. There you go. This is the Root Beer Wagon. I don't know about that Collector Edition. This is another outrageous car designed by Tom and Daniel. The Wacky Winners. And the back, if you want to take a look at that, I'll put that up here on the uh, long shot. And you can read that if you want. There was a club at the time. By the way, if you're wondering what that Mantis is, where'd it go? Right there. Uh, playing Mantis is the company that was own, that owned Johnny Lightning during this time period. And it looks like these went for $3.49 when they first came out back in, what, 1996-ish or so. That was pretty expensive back then, but now they're going for three for a dollar. <laughs> they did not go up in price. And some people still holding out that these are going to go up in price, but I've seen these going from anywhere from... 50 cents on up. Not the best ones for use in customs, if you're wondering. The, the parts are rather hard to work with and pretty cheap, especially the little plastic parts. Here is that root beer wagon. There is the root beer. That is a sticker on the side there. Stickers do fall off over time. If I was to try and poke at that, I bet it would fall off. Interesting rims on these. They are plastic tires. Um, the Johnny Lightnings also had that rim on the interior of the wheel. Supposedly that made them go pretty quick. Well, you know, they aren't slow, but most of my Hot Wheels would probably beat these down the track pretty easily. Next, we've got a wacky winner. This one is the Tijuana Taxi. Get a close-up of that. I don't know what the Collector Breakthrough Limited Edition number on base is. Let's take a look at that one. In this one, Limited Edition, one of only 14,000. I don't think I showed that to you on the last one. Look at that. Oh, boy. I'm pretty sure they probably didn't sell 14,000. <laughs> this one is one of my favorites. We've got a lot of colors of this. I don't remember a purple one. Tijuana Taxi. It's got this cool little chicken on the top. It is a Tijuana Taxi after all. That is a pretty special Tijuana Taxi. Let's see what that number on the base is there. Well, there is a number on the base. There's the number. I'm not sure what that means. I'm pretty sure it mean, doesn't mean it's number 4 of 14,000. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> what was, what did this one? Well, there, I got number two. I got number two on that one. Nah, it's probably the other number. I don't know. I don't know. Not much collectible about them. Here's another Wacky Winners. This one is uh, also collectible at three for a dollar. <laughs> this one is the Cherry Bomb. They do come, I, I haven't been showing it to you, but they do come with a little cardboard button. I'll show you this one. The button is um, pinned in between the plastic. It's kind of supposed to be something special. It's more like a pog. 
Anybody remember Pogs? Well, that's kind of like a Pog, right? Here is Cherry Bomb. I don't believe I have this one. Not sure how that one escaped my collection, but that one will find a home. Not fond of those rims, but... <laughs> Cherry Bomb ain't going to be winning any downhill contests anytime soon. Uh, here's a fun one. This is the Dragon dragon and this one has a cool little dragon trying to get out of his cage a lot of these that uh, root beer uh, truck the Tijuana taxi and this one tend to look the same to me I always forget which ones I have of course these were designed by Tom Daniels or Tom Daniel I should say so, they're going to be crazy. There's that dragon in the back. He is a good one. My son likes this one. He loves that dragon. It's a fun one. It's an interesting uh, windshield on this one. <laughs> Not sure that's very safe in an accident, but I don't even know if this is road weary, a little roadster like that with a dragon. I mean, your, your dragon's probably going to fall on you in an accident anyways. Uh, oh, here's another cherry bomb. Is this the same one? This is the same one. I might as well open this up. I'm not sure how I ended up with two that were the same. There you go. If you, uh, I mentioned this in the last video, if you uh, are wondering a, a good trick on getting cars, these kind of cars cheap, and, and I know a lot of collectors aren't at all interested in these cheaper cars. I really like the kind of the toy part of this hobby, so I'm into this stuff. But I get it. Most people aren't really. They're trying to get rid of this stuff. Um, this is not a Tijuana Taxi. Uh, a good trick at a show, especially if it's, a, if it's like a show, you know, where folks have to haul stuff into the show, is if you see a big box full of stuff, like, I don't know, as an example, let's say there was a big box of, Oops, I got a broken piece here. Like I said, these are pretty cheap. They fall apart really quick. There's another chicken Tijuana taxi. This one's missing the interior piece, which is easy enough to fix. I probably won't. Here goes in there. <laughs> that was pretty good. I got pretty close there. Uh, it goes in there. These pieces, they, these things fall apart pretty quickly. Uh, but if you're looking for a good trick, just tell the folks as you're going through the show, and maybe they have a large box of cars. Or they've, you know, got, got a whole box full of like $3 each cars or something. You'll see a lot of those. Just tell them that you'll swing by at the end of the show. And if they don't want to, you know, haul that stuff back to their car. And a lot of these guys really are just looking to kind of get rid of some of this stuff. And I'm not saying do this with their, you know, their Hot Wheels collector editions or, you know, Redline clubs or anything like that. <laughs> Because they'll just laugh at you. But mention to them that, uh, you know, just to, to put together a package for you and make a price. Because I just tell them, give me your best price. I'll be back before the end of the show. And usually they give me a way better price than you might think. Now, I'm not getting any particular car that I, I might be searching for. So if that's your thing in the collection. This is bad medicine. I don't know if I have this one or not either. That's a cool one with the skeleton there. Bad medicine rolls pretty well. Here is garbage truck. This guy's going surfing while he's picking up his garbage. But a lot of times they'll make you a really good price and they'll just pack it up for you because they don't want to take it home. Here's your garbage truck collector pog. <laughs> this one I do have. This is a fun one. It's got a face on the back and surfboards on the side. Surfboards don't come off. Garbage truck. And last, we've got another root bear. This looks like the same color and everything as the other one that we had. Oops. Well, I guess that was good. Yeah, here's a good example. Um, these guys just did not hold up well over the years. And this is a good example of one. You can see this whole back end is 
coming off. I don't think it's supposed to. <laughs> so, see even the cab, see a wobble in there. These uh, were just not made great. This was kind of the end of the the Johnny Lightning heyday. <laughs> Johnny Lightning then went away for a while, and we've we've covered Johnny Lightning. They're back now, and they make much better, much better product. So that's gonna do it for this show. Hope you enjoyed looking at some of those. I think they're kind of fun. Uh, not our usual thing that we look at here. Maybe I'll get out the whole collection of these in a future show, and we'll take a look at them. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.